Welcome once again to your favorite novena of choice as we join our Mother of Sorrows in today's devotion. We honor her, pray with her as a global community in prayer. With the burial of Jesus in the tomb, a heavy silence descended upon his disciples, especially on Mary, the mother of Jesus, and all those who had witnessed his crucifixion. The reality of his death weighed heavily upon their hearts, leaving them grappling with the myriad of emotions. Let us stay close to Mary, a mother of sorrows today, as she keeps vigil with us. In the darkness of Holy Saturday, there is a flicker, a glimmer of hope, a faint ember that refuses to be extinguished. Deep within our souls, we must cling to the promises Jesus had spoken during his earthly ministry, the promises of resurrection, redemption, and eternal life. Though we cannot see or experience that yet, I would like to start our beautiful devotion with the prayer that Jesus taught us. And this prayer is always in our devotions, our masses, and our prayer time. Join me as I sing this hymn from my heart, the Lord's Prayer. Peace and joy of Holy Saturday be with all of you. I wish I was in the Garden of Gethsemane, but here we are in the outdoors of our parish of our Mother of Perpetual Help to bring you this wonderful devotion for Holy Saturday. Let's begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In this meditative mood and prayerful mood, we turn to our Blessed Mother, asking her to pray with us and journey with us as we wait for Easter. Please join in this wonderful intentions that we have gathered for you. World War Today 2024 is observed on March the 22nd globally to raise awareness about the importance of water and its conservation. 
According to the UN, about 2.2 billion people are living without access to safe water. There are ways to combat water scarcity, for example, developing water filtration systems, reduce water usage, protect wetlands and provide irrigation efficiency. Only 3% of the world's water is fresh water and two-thirds of that is tucked away in frozen glaciers or otherwise unavailable for our use. As a result, some 1.1 billion people worldwide lack access to water and a total of 2.7 billion find water scarce for at least one month of the year. Lord, we thank you for the streams that quench our thirst, the rains that nourish the earth and the oceans that teem with life. Just as you offered the Samaritan woman living water, we come to you, Jesus, as our source of, of eternal refreshment. May we be vessels of your grace, sharing the life-giving water of your love with the parched world, that all may come to know you as the true fountain of living water. We ask for Mother Mary's intercession. Be with us, O loving Mother. World Tuberculosis Day observed on the 24th of March each year is designed to build public awareness about the global epidemic of tuberculosis and efforts to eliminate the disease. Tuberculosis or TB is still one of the world's deadliest diseases and recent years have seen a worrying increase in drug-resistant TB. Every year, 10 million people fall ill with tuberculosis. Despite being a preventable and curable disease, 1.5 million people die from TB each year, making it the world's top infectious killer. Lord, help us to eradicate tuberculosis that afflicts millions around the world. We ask for your divine intervention to break the cycle of transmission eradicate stigma and discrimination and empower communities to support one another in the fight against tuberculosis. In your mercy, O God, hear our prayer and grant us your grace to work tirelessly towards ending the tuberculosis crisis in our world. For this we pray. Be with us, O loving Mother. O Mother of Sorrows, gentle and compassionate, we turn to you in our times of trial and despair. You who stood by the cross of your Son, enduring unimaginable sorrow and pain, teach us to find strength in the midst of our own sufferings. Our Mother of Sorrows, you understand our deepest sorrows, for you witnessed the agony of your beloved Son. In your maternal embrace, we find solace and comfort, knowing that you intercede for us before the throne of grace. Please intercede for all those suffering the ravages and violence in the Ukraine, Palestine, Sudan and all countries at war. Be with us, O loving Mother. Our Mother of Sorrows, you are the refuge of the afflicted, the hope of the broken-hearted, and the consolation of widows and orphans. Wrap us in your mantle of love and guide us through the storms of life towards the eternal joy of heaven. As we contemplate the passion and death of your Son, help us to enter into the mystery of his sacrifice and to unite our sufferings with his redemptive love. Through the darkness of Good Friday to the light of Easter Sunday, and guide us safely to the joy of eternal life with your Son. Pray for us, Mother of Sorrows, that we may be strengthened and renewed, and that all our prayers and petitions may be heard and answered according to God's will. For this we pray. Be with us, O loving Mother. Together we turn to our Heavenly Father and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen dear mother mary thank you for father masang and his team for this online novena devotion that is continually reaching lots of people who are old suffering from disabilities those who are homebound in nursing home and hospitals and helping all of us be united with the holy trinity and our blessed mother through prayers songs and nourishing us increasing our love and faith strengthening us spiritually emotionally and drawing us closer to god from your loving children dear mother of perpetual help i thank god for the gift of holy week many catholics have returned to the sacraments our penitential service was well attended i thank god for all our elect who will be baptized during easter vigil thank you for the facilitators and the sponsors that journeyed with all the candidates from your loving son my dearest mother of perpetual help words cannot describe how grateful i am to you and your son for answering my recent petitions a month ago our lives got rocked to the core when we were informed that my daughter was diagnosed with cancer we were shocked frightened confused and angry but now after putting all our fears and worries in your hands we as a family are now committed to turning this into a positive situation I am so confident that my daughter will overcome this cancer and be completely healed by your intercession and your son's healing hands from your loving son from Brisbane. Dearest mother of perpetual help, pardon me for not writing earlier. I suffer from brain tumor since June 2020. This meningioma, most thankfully by God's grace, is deemed benign by my doctors. However, in spite of my having undergone two surgeries and two radiotherapies, the tumor lesions have recurred and starting to grow again in several parts of my brain and dangerously near my optic nerve. Moving forward, my primary doctor has recommended proton beam therapy. Unfortunately, this procedure is fairly new to Singapore and is very costly. My most loving mother, I humbly implore you for your grace whether to proceed with the procedure or not. If not, I ask for your continued intercessions for God's healing for my condition. Ultimately, may his will be done, not mine. Through you and with you in Jesus I trust. Thank you, mother, from your loving son. Dear Mother of perpetual help I lift up for the Simon Pereira in Singapore who is undergoing chemotherapy for his cancer I also pray for all priests missionaries and religious to God and Mother Mary's divine protection from your loving child Dearest mother please give my daughter her joy and happiness that has faded away she is so broken hearted she is the life wire wherever she goes and now she is sad and our home has lost the happiness and peace it once had from your loving daughter dear mother mary have mercy on two persons both of them have pain while walking pray for them dear mother have mercy on them pray to jesus to bless and heal them dear mother of perpetual help the results of my ct scan were not very good i have to go for another operation please intercede on my behalf to jesus as i ask for healing and whatever the ct scan shows it will not be life threatening please be with the surgeons who will decide what is best for me 
from your loving son. Dearest Mother Mary, please help me to exercise better so that I can walk by myself. Also, please help my body to feel better. Growing old is a challenging affair and I pray that I will grow old gracefully. Dearest Mother, please intercede for the well-being of our family, for good health, spiritual blessing and bless my two sons to secure better jobs so that they will have a brighter future from your loving child. With all these petitions, we turn to our loving mother and pray the prayer of confidence. Mother of perpetual help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer. And you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us share with Mary her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Let us echo the words of Angel Gabriel in this hymn, Hail Mary. And the singer, of course, needs no introduction at all. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, blessed is the fruit of your womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Pray for us, O oh, pray. Now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you. is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, blessed is the fruit of your womb. Holy Mary, Mother of Yes.
As we gather as a global praying community, we are enveloped in a profound sense of loss and grief. The events of yesterday, the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus, have left many of us shattered, questioning and deprived of hope. Let us grieve and pray with Mary, our Mother of Sorrows, who endured the unimaginable agony of witnessing her Son crucified. Non-Catholics may see Mary, the mother of Jesus, in this moment, simply a woman overwhelmed with sorrow. Let us share with Mary on this day of waiting, this day of vigil, and keep this holy Saturday in prayer. I'd like to stretch your imagination and bring you back to the moment when Mary first held her precious child in her arms the infant whose birth was heralded by angels and celebrated by shepherds. She must have cherished every moment, treasuring the gift of motherhood bestowed upon her by the Almighty. Little did she know then that the path that lay ahead for her beloved son. As Jesus grew, she watched with a mother's pride as he walked among the people, preaching love mercy and forgiveness. His teachings were like a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. But as his ministry gained momentum, so did the opposition. The whispers of betrayal and rejection grew louder. There was nothing she could do to change the will of God. And then came yesterday, Good Friday, the day that changed everything. The day when they led her son away, beaten and bloodied, to face the most brutal form of execution known to men. The agony of watching him stumble under the weight of the cross tore her soul as she accompanied Jesus. No mother should witness the painful and slow death of her son. As Jesus hung upon the cross, Grasping for breath, Mary's fragile heart must have shattered into a million pieces. She wanted to cry out, to beg for mercy, to demand an end to the suffering, but she knew that this was the path he had chosen, the path ordained by God for the redemption of you and me and for the whole of humanity. I can't imagine how Mary felt when Jesus looked down from the cross at her. His eyes filled with love. In that moment, Mary understood that his sacrifice was not in vain, that through his death, the world would be saved. And yet the pain of losing him was almost more than she could bear. 
And so, here we are on Holy Saturday, caught between the agony of Good Friday and the hope of Easter. We sit in the darkness, mourning the loss of our beloved Saviour. But even in the midst of our grief, we cling to the promise of resurrection, that death will not have the final word, that light will triumph over darkness and that love will conquer all. As I practice the exultat for tonight, and as I wait in vigil also, let us remember that just as the night must give way to the dawn, so too will our sorrow be transformed into joy. Let us hold fast to that hope that Jesus proclaimed, trusting in the promise of new life that awaits us. May God grant strength in our sorrow, faith in our despair, and hope in our waiting. And may the love of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, fill our hearts now and forevermore. May Mary, mother of all sorrows, be with all mothers in Gaza, Palestine, the Ukraine, and Sudan, and all countries at war, comforting mothers who have lost children, husband and family. And I wish you and your loved ones a holy and a blessed Easter. Together in one faith, we turn to the Blessed Mother and pray the Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to your protection, implored you help, and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, Hear and answer me. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your sufferings, and if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen. Mary, from thy sacred image, with those eyes so sadly sweet, Mother of perpetual succor, see us kneeling at thy feet. Amen. 
you have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray, O God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Thank you for faithfully joining us. All these years, four years, it has been a pleasure crafting this beautiful devotion for you. To all our friends and benefactors who have been generous, thank you so much. Because of you, this novena will continue. I will see you next week. In the meantime, join in this beautiful hymn as we await Easter. Holy Week will not be the same without this traditional hymn. We can only ponder the moment at the cross. For us Catholics, the cross is a powerful representation of God's love and compassion for humanity. Despite humanity's shortcomings and sins, God demonstrated His boundless love by sending His Son to die on the cross, providing a path to reconciliation and forgiveness. Were you there when they crucified the Lord? Would